Hello, this is Mr. Chavry. We are here with another Let's Go Battle. Um, looking at my opponent's team, this is an actual team as well, so hopefully it'll be as good as last time. Um, real quick, I actually did put Rock Slide on Rhydon. That's what I've been meaning to do for the for like a long time, and I finally went ahead and got that done. So um, I feel good about that. Who do I want to lead with? Um, honestly, man, this is such a hard, you know, team right here. To pick an actual lead against. Um, what is Muck going to do for me? Muck's good for that star me, so I need to keep Muck around for a, for a while. I think... Honestly, I want to lead Dragonite. But, no, I'll... Dragonite would be good for later. Mine's not like an agility set. Mine's just, you know, Thunder Wave and Waterfall with Outrage and Roost. Um, to slow down the opponent, but... Actually, I think I'll lead Dragonite. Um, yeah, I think I'll lead Dragonite. This Dragonite set is intended to slow things down and maybe get some flinches if I need it. I don't know. I, I think getting an agility set would be so much better, though. So I, that's something I'm going to do sometime. You know, actually get an agility set that's meant to sweep up late game. Um, because that's what most people do with Dragonites that actually do um, these battles based off the meta. Um, so let's see here. We're going to see that Beedrill come in. Um, that thing is a fast U-Turner and everything. Um, yeah, it's going to U-Turn. Pretty obvious. Um, I'm going to... I want to click Thunder Wave. And I think I will. Just in case my opponent decides not to U-Turn. There's no reason for my opponent to not U-Turn, but... Um, just, just in the off chance my opponent decides to go on the offensive. Okay, there's the U-turn. Um, maybe we can paralyze whatever comes in. Maybe it could be that Mel Metal. Uh, I won't be against that. Um, if Nidoking King comes in, then my opponent made a really good read. Um, but usually people don't have Thunder Wave on their Dragonite, so I'm predicting probably, probably Mel Metal. There is the Mel Metal. So, yeah, we're going to Thunder Wave that thing. Um, it's already really slow, but, you know, now that it's Thunder Wave, maybe we have a chance to get some flinches. Really, I don't have a good switch into that thing, too. Um, Charizard is my best switch to it, really. Um, I might actually do that. I might bring Charizard in. Really, I need something good against Mel Metal. That's something I need to look into. I think Mel Metal's best counter is another Mel Metal. Or best switch in for it. Um, let's get Charizard in. Yeah, because I think there might it might be an Ice Punch. But I still want to get Charizard in. Because once I Mega Evolve, that's going to be so helpful, especially later on. And we get the full Paralysis. So that works out really well. Um, anything's Starmie's really the best switch into this thing. So let's go ahead and Mega Charizard X and just Flare Blitz, man. My opponent's not going to let me have this thing, but maybe we can do a lot of damage to that Starmie. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, there's the Starmie. It's probably got enough bulk to take this pretty well. So um, what I'm really wanting to do is actually do a lot of damage. This thing is kind of annoying, and I want to do a lot of damage to it. Um, I think it probably would have Thunder Wave too. Maybe we can get, like, good damage on it. Oh, that's not... That's not terrible. Starmie often has Recover, too, doesn't it? I know it has access to Recover. Um, but really, my best um, counter to Starmie is this Muck. So we're going to go into the Muck here. We're really going to go into the muck. I feel like my opponent's probably predicting me to go into the muck. I feel like that's why it's taking my opponent a while. So we might have to do a double switch. Okay, so no, we're going to get the muck in. And I think Starmie is faster than Charizard, so we're not going to see a switch on its side. Please don't burn. Oh my gosh, I get burnt by this every time. Okay. Um, 
Nothing really wants to come in on a crunch, so we're just going to go for the crunch. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what you got. Melmetal is probably the best bet for, you know, a crunch. Okay, this thing comes in. Um, let's go ahead and crunch it. Boom. Good damage. Um... Rhydon's pretty, like, a really good answer to this thing. And, I don't know if I said it earlier, but I actually got Rock Slide on it. I've been meaning to put Rock Slide on it, and I've been going into battle with Rock Throw on it. But now that we got Rock Slide on this thing, that's going to be great. Um, my opponent's got Nidoking as a Rock Setter. So, do I take the plunge and Earthquake here, predicting that Nidoking to come in? Because Nidoking outspeeds right on. I don't think my opponent lets me have a Rock Slide on this thing. I so badly want an Earthquake predicting a switch. Stealth, okay, well, if I go Stealth Rocks, what's that helping me out against? Zapdos and Beedrill. Actually, let's get those Rocks up. Yeah, let's go ahead and get those Rocks up. Because that's going to be so helpful. There's the Nitto King. So we'll probably just trade Stealth Rocks here. Man, I should have Earthquaked. I was really badly wanting to Earthquake. Um, but we'll go Earthquake here. I think my opponent goes for Rocks now. Yeah, we're just going to trade Rocks. Go ahead and get this Earthquake off on this thing. We'll see if it would have even paid off to go for Earthquake there anyway. This thing survives. Okay, so it would have paid off. That would have been a huge payoff right there. No rocks on my side of the field. That would have been a huge payoff, but I didn't want to risk it. I should have risked it, though, because it would have paid off huge. That would have been, like, an immense payoff right there. Um, we're going to probably see Starmie. Yep, that's the boy Starmie. The myth, the legend, the Starmie. I'm predicting a Scald. Because Muck is such an obvious switch in. Um, really quick, what does Venusaur help me out against? Um, really, this thing is the only 100% thing that um, it helps me out against. So we'll go ahead and go into Venusaur. Predicting a Scald. Because I don't want to get burnt on my Muck. I really don't. So we're going to get Venusaur in here. Yeah, there's a Scald. I really need to prevent the burn on my um, muck. It's really the thing that I need to keep from happening. Um, I want a Sleep Powder. So I think a Sleep Powder is going to be more advantageous here. <laughs> I think my opponent might get, be too afraid. Oh, so my opponent's going to Ice Beam. Um, that's pretty middle of the road play. And we put... Oh, we missed the Sleep Powder! Oh my gosh, game. Like, seriously, game? Oh my gosh. That is really bad. Us missing that, just that destroys. Oh my gosh. We, we, oh, we could have had this thing asleep, but we missed. That is annoying. That is, like, really annoying. All right, game. All right, game. I see how you want to play. I see it. Um, we can go Zapdos here, I think. Now we'll go Zapdos. We don't outspeed, but if I can, you know, get some good damage on this thing, that's going to be great. Um, yeah, let's get some good damage on this thing. Man, that, that just makes me so salty that we missed the Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder would have taken care of this thing. Alright, out will probably come Mel Metal. Okay. How much damage are we doing to this thing? Let me see something real quick. Um, I don't have a perfect switch to this thing. Still, I think an Ice Punch is probably coming out. But... If I Light Screen, that would help me out against Starmie later. That's really it, though. Zapdos, too, but...
I'm going to roost here. I, I'm predicting an ice punch, like, really hard. I'm predicting an ice punch. So we're going to roost, so that way we're going to you know, be on the ground, lose that flying typing, and we'll be able to take an ice punch. Double iron bash. Okay, so he's going to predict a switch, I think. He's going to predict a switch. Let's go ahead and Thunderbolt. Maybe we can get some paralysis, you know, to balance out the luck. Oh, he's predicting the roost again. That paid off. Me going for roost at that range actually paid off so well. Because he was predicting the, the roost again. He was predicting the roost right there. And he just gave me Mel Metal with that. It probably didn't have Ice Punch, because I feel like it would have went for Ice Punch earlier. I really feel like it would have. Um, but here comes the Muck. And really, do I have a perfect switch for Muck? Not really. Ice Punch is a thing. A crunch is bad. Mega Drain takes care of Rhydon. Um, so... Okay, I'm thinking about Light Screening, so... Later on, we have a better shot. Uh, we'll just Thunderbolt this turn. Maybe get a Paralysis, you know. See how much it does. It's good damage. We're going to see a Foul Play, actually. Which doesn't really hamper me. Uh, with that, I'm going to Roost to get some health back. He Does, does he not, not have Crunch? He might not even have Crunch. Oh my gosh, he doesn't. He has foul play as his offensive move. Well, well, well. Let's heal all the way back up then. Let's just heal all the way back up. There's a poison jab. That would have probably been... Yeah, that would have been better against me. Because it has a chance to poison. Um, but now I can just Thunderbolt again. Another poison jab. Hopefully we don't get poisoned. And real quick. Um, it would actually make sense to get an agility later. So let's go ahead and roost again. So I can get an agility. And I'll be able to outspeed um, that Beedrill. Because I think Beedrill is kind of a problem for me. I need to get as much health back as I can. Poison jab's really annoying. There's the poison. I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. Knew it was going to happen. Let's go for one more roost. Maybe my opponent... Uh, my opponent's already got the poison, so... No crit, please. No crit. Right, is there a reason to keep Zapdos alive? I was really wanting to get that agility. But I don't think I'll be able to now. So I'll just Thunderbolt this thing and get rid of it. I was really wanting to get an agility. But at this point, with that poison, it's not going to matter. Yeah, Beedrill just destroys us, unfortunately. There it is. The good thing is that Stealth Rock's going to do a lot of damage to it. Uh, I think I just have to Thunderbolt. Poison Jab. Um, we'll let Zapdos go down. Zapdos has done its job. Um, let me see... I think Rhydon's honestly my best bet against this thing. Yeah, so Rhydon should take hits pretty well. Rhydon's got really good bulk. Um, this thing's got crazy high attack, though, so that's a problem. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and just click Rock Slide. Probably see a U turn on this thing, and it'll probably pivot into the Starmie. But if that does happen, I do have Muck. Dang, that does so much. That does so much. Alright, what's coming? I'm, I'm predicting Starmie to come out right now. Oh, there's a Starmie. Where is it at health-wise? Yeah, it's being chipped away pretty well. And that will do the job, so that's nice right there. Starmie is down, so honestly... I really don't need Muck that much anymore. I'm not going to just sack it off, but... I don't necessarily need it 100% anymore. Uh, there's that Beedrill again. Of course, I have to stay in and rock slide against this thing. Let me see something real quick. What's my opponent's last mod? Um, is it the Muck? I, I don't remember what my opponent's last mod is. It might be Zapdos. It might actually be Zapdos. Let me... Because Muck has actually done its job. And I'd like to keep Ride on. Yeah, I'm going to send out Muck. I think Muck has basically done its job. I'm going to keep Ride on alive. I think we're going to see a U-turn. Like, very obvious U-turn. So, I think I'm okay with sacking Muck off so that way Ride on can come in and 1v1 this Beedrill later. Because U-turn shouldn't take us out. And a Rock Slide should do the job because Beedrill is, like, so frail. So, we're going to go for that, and I think this might be, yep, the Zapdos. Um, so, for the Zapdos, I'm going to actually click Ice Punch. Just in case my opponent gets greedy and tries to go for an Agility. Um, my opponent goes ahead and Thunderbolts. So, but that's okay, I've got um, Charizard I can bring in. I've got my um, Dragonite too. I think... I'll go Dragonite here. Yeah, so earlier on, I really wanted to get um, Thunder Wave on that Beedrill so it'd be a little bit easier to handle. But now we're at this range where um, we're going to have to, I guess, sack off this Dragonite to get rid of this Zapdos. Uh, we should take a Thunderbolt. Dragonite does have good special defense. Oh, a crit's going to make sure that does not happen. Okay, that's unfortunate. That is, like, very unfortunate. We should have taken that. I'm pretty sure we should have. That, ow. Oh. The luck is not in my favor, man. And I've got to lock myself into something. Uh, I might lock myself into Flare Blitz, or just go for Flare Blitz. I mean, I meant like if I lock myself into Outrage. Um, I'm going to click Outrage. Because that's going to give me a chance to survive if I live with like red HP. That might be what it takes to win against that Beedrill. But yeah, we'll get rid of that. That is so unfortunate. That crit. I wanted to have Charizard with better health against the Beedrill, but that crit destroyed our Dragonite, and now it's going to be a little bit, a little bit of a pain to handle this Beedrill. Um, but I do have my Rhydon, and my Rhydon should be at good enough health to take a U-turn. Yeah, so unfortunately Charizard here has to go down, but... It's all on Rhydon right now, and if we can not get a crit, if Rhydon does not get critted, and if Rock Slide connects, we should be good. Um, actually, I think Earthquake will do the job, too. I'm going to make the safer play and just go Earthquake. Because Rock Slide has a chance to miss, and I would be so livid if we lost to a Rock Slide miss. I mean, I, I, I'd be, like, livid if this thing crits us and we go down to, like, a crit U-turn. We should live a U-turn. 
What else would this thing have? Poison Jab, U-Turn. I don't know what else it would have. It might have Drill Run. Okay, we're going to see Poison Jab, and I think we actually resist that with our ground typing. We do. Nice. Um, and we'll just take this thing out with an Earthquake. Alright, good game. This was actually a really close game. I was not sure if we would be able to pull through a victory with that with this team, but we were able to. And Man, this is such an intense battle. Um, as you see there, these actual Let's Go OU battles are really close and intense. It could go either way many times. And me deciding to save that Rhydon, Rhydon actually paid off so well because that was my only option against that Beedrill because Beedrill is such a scary Pokemon. Um, so if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next.